Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you came here for a calm makeup video, get the heck out because this ain't it. This ain't it. I got some wild stories. I've got some things to say. I've got an exciting makeup look planned. I actually didn't have it planned. I need to sit down. Um, but then I was scrolling on Instagram as one does. She got married? She didn't even tell me. Anyways, um, I was scrolling on Instagram as one does and I saw this look from Ash K. Home, which you know if you watch Ash K. Home or like the Kardashians. She is uh, usually Chloe's makeup artist, but she does a lot of famous makeup. Um, look at this. Okay. Look at the glow on her eyes. I commented. Let me show you what I commented. I said, I'm begging you to tell me what's on her eyes. Wait, is this going to focus? I'll beg you to tell me what's on her eyes. I'll give a leg. Okay. Um, she's yet to tell me, but you know, I still have both my legs. We're just going to see how it goes. Um, but I saw that look and I said, let me recreate it before I take my next breath. Also, let me scoot over so you can see my lamp. <laughs> how cute is that? Also, I have questions. If this is your first video, hi, welcome. I'm usually not, um, this chipper. Uh, but nevertheless, today I am. So, <laughs> welcome. Anyways, I have things to say. I have things to say. And I'm excited about this look. I'm excited about actually everything in life. How about that? <laughs> How about that? So, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be telling you guys some new things. I'm going to talk, be talking about uh, life updates, astrology. And I know before you click off and you're like, oh my gosh, it's not what you think. Um, I'm going to be trying some new products. I'm going to just, it's going to be a fun video. It's going to be a fun video. So, strap in, strap up, get ready. Okay. First of all, let me give you a little tea time because I'm sure that this man's never going to see this video. And if he does, that's awkward. So the other day I was in Prada. I was in Georgia over the weekend. I would actually be able to, um, maybe, do, there we go. I was in Prada. That's too dark. Over the weekend. And I was in Georgia for Brielle's wedding for her reception, actually. And so, um, we were like, we're going to go to the mall. Me and Ryan were like, we're going to go to the mall. Um, because they are supposedly have like a really good mall. So we go, I think first thing I'm going to use is do I want to use that first? I want my skin to look like really dewy and juicy and like stunning, but I don't really, I don't know. I think I'm going to mix these two. I think I'm going to mix like the powder foundation from Patrick Tall, which you guys know I've been loving. And then like the e.l.f. Halo Glow. And we're just, we're just going to vibe with it. We're just going to go. It's going to be like a talk through video. It's just going to be fun. Okay. So anyways, we're in Prada. First of all, to get into this Prada, you have to um, like go through these ropes. Okay. So, it's, like, in the mall, but it's in Buckhead, which is, like, really rich. Like, there's a... Wow. If you didn't drive a Lamborghini, if you didn't drive a Rolls Royce... I'm not even joking. Like, I'm literally not even joking. A um, G-Wagon or a car that costs at least $150,000, like, you were the minority. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, you peasants. You know, like, what do you do for a living? You know? <laughs> okay. So, anyways. That's that, right? So... That's kind of, that was the vibe. Everybody was hella rich. And um, the mall was phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Best mall I've ever been to in my entire life. Had a Prada, had a Rolex, had a Gucci, had a Chanel. Did I have a Chanel? Nobody had a Chanel at the Avalon. Just like everything that one could imagine, it had it. And it was really nice. The Aritzia was huge. It was like multiple stories. I saw Bryce Hall and his curly haired friend with the blue eyes. Um, I didn't even recognize them. Ryan was like, was that Bryce Hall? And I said, I don't know. And then he said that was Bryce Hall. And I was like, okay. Made eye contact with him. He literally like was from me to you. Made eye contact with him and the other dude. Did they check me out? I'm not going to hear sit here and say, no, they didn't. Because ugh, they may have looked me up and down. <laughs> but child, anyways. So we're in this mall. Back to my Prada story. And I'm going in Prada because I'm looking for this sweater. And apparently I made this sweater up in my mind. Because the sales associate dude comes up to me. His name was Carter. And I, relevant to the plot. He comes up to me and he's like, you know, how can I help you? Like, are you looking for anything specific today? And I'm like, hey, I'm looking for this sweater. And he was like, okay, let me see if we have it, you know. So he like goes over there and he's going to the Prada sweaters and there's no one else. Like there's maybe one girl in there besides me. I'm going to spot conceal with this kind of. Um, and I just like am vibing, you know, I'm like, hello, here I am in Prada. Ryan, my friend Ryan went into Rolex and he was looking for a watch. And, um, 
we're just chilling, you know. So, he's looking for my sweater. And he's like, do you have a product profile with Prada? And I said, that was a lot of alliteration. And I was like, no, I don't. I was like, this is the first Prada store that I've been into. And so, he was like, okay, do you want me to make you a product profile? So, you know, if you're, like, looking for something, you can just text me and I can, like, get it for you. Um, I can pull it from a different store if I need to or something like that. And I was like, yes, I do. So, I make a product profile with Carter. Okay. Carter from Buckhead, Georgia. And so, he texts me. He's like, you're going to get a text. And, like, it's a text confirmation, blah, blah, from Prada, from, like, the little Prada phone etc. And he's like, it's going to, like, if you need anything, let me know. If you want to order this sweater, let me know. Well, the sweater was $2,300. And I was like, I'm not paying that for a sweater. I'll get it off the real real after somebody like wore it twice and they couldn't wear it anymore because everybody knows you already wore that Prada sweater. And, uh, that'll be that. You know what I mean? So also this is super light coverage. I'm just kind of evening up my skin tone a little bit. But anyways, so that's that. So he gets my number, blah, 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 puts it in the thing, makes me my product profile and whatever. Um, then lo and behold, if I didn't get a text today, like, oh, also let me back up after we left, which I mean, I did look cute that day. I was trying to look cute, but Ryan was like, whenever I walked in, this is Ryan speaking. He was like, whenever I walked in, three guys came up to me and they like surrounded me. And they were like, are you here with the pretty girl in the boots? And Ryan was like, yes, now take me straight to her, you know? And so then he came back there with me and he was like trying to get a cologne, but they were out of stock. So we had to get it at Sephora and Alpharetta. But anyways, so, um, yeah, that's what they said. But like, they didn't say anything to me. Like they weren't, they obviously weren't like, oh man, you're like a pretty girl or something, you know? And Ryan didn't tell me that till like, I think the next day. And I was like, okay, so whatever. My skin looks stupidly good. Ciao. So, that happens. Then, I'm in my car today. Am I in my car? I think so. I'm in my car. No, I'm actually in my closet. I was in my closet. I get a text from a number. A 646 number. So, I say, 646, what is this area code? I Google it. Manhattan. I was like, hmm. So, they say, hi, Katie. How are you doing? I said, hi, who is this? He said, this is Carter from Prada. I'll be danged if this man did not pull my number from um my Prada profile I'm pretty sure that's literally like illegal like I'm pretty sure that's against some like code of conduct you know what I mean so he pulled my number okay and uh took it for his own well-being and that's just crazy to me that is just crazy to me that's absurd and then he was like I was like um I'm good how are you because I was like maybe he's gonna tell me uh something like about my sweater you know or like hey I didn't want to like send this from the Prada number or like something like that oh by the way I'm using this I haven't used this in ages the Glossier Future Do why don't you focus focus you bloody camera there we go Glossier Future Do don't you dare look at my crusty fingernails I'm fixing them today I saw you staring so anyways um, I was like, maybe he's going to tell me something about my sweater or like, hey, I I know somebody that's like getting rid of a sweater. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I gave the man the benefit of the doubt. He just wanted to talk to me. He just was like, what are you up to? I'm back in my hometown. That's what I'm up to. I'm working. Okay. I'll tell you what you're not doing. Your job. You broke the code of, code of conduct, Carter from Prada. Okay. I understand you out here shooting your shot. What a girl you thought was pretty, but... Also, I was, wa I walked in with a man. You know what I mean? Like, I walked in with a man. Well, I don't, actually, that's not true. I didn't walk in with a man, but, but nevertheless, Ryan, my friend, came with me. Like, he, and he even said, like, oh, are you with a pretty girl? And he was like, yeah. And, uh, so, that just shakes me up. Okay. Men be out here shooting their shot at any cost. Okay? Job, other man, don't matter. If they wanted to, they would. Okay? So, that's a fact. And, um, anyways, that's that. Shout out Carter at Alpharetta Buckhead, where the heck we were. You ain't doing your job, my boy. You ain't doing your job. Do I want to use this? I actually don't know. I'm going to use this. I'm using a lot of pa Patrick Ta these days. This is the Patrick Ta. Okay. This is the Patrick Ta, um, blush in the shade Do We Know Her. It's a pretty peachy shade. I think I'm just going to use the cream and then... See how I feel about it. 
to be honest with you. I'm also gonna use it on my usual brush, my usual blush brush. Isn't that crazy though? Like, did you see that coming? Cause I didn't see that coming. This is the Elf Duo Complexion Brush and I'm just gonna kinda, oh yeah, hit the top of my cheeks. That is bright. Hokey dokey. Hokey dokey. This man, I'm fully shook about this man. Like, I literally cannot believe that he was like, ah, watch this. Should I call Prada? Be honest. Be like, your employee's harassing me. But he's really not. Like, he's a nice dude. He's not harassing me. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. It's just that I'm like, TBH, you took my number from my Prada profile. Like, isn't that confidential, my guy? Nothing is sacred. Absolutely nothing is sacred these days. I'm going to go on with this blush. This is from MAC. This is the um, So Natural Glow Play brush. blush. Look at it. Stunning. So, I think that's cute. I'm going to use it. So, anyway, that's that. Second of all, listen to this. If I could... I know, like, I feel like my the people who watch my videos religiously, like, we're friends. You know what I mean? Like, we're friends. I don't know anything about you or your life, but you know about me and mine, okay? And we're friends. Um, I have been doing well this month. Uh, this month has is, is been good. It was no cry September, sexy girl September, um, single girl September. Things have taken a turn. In all the ways. I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. But I'm just shook to my killer about some certain life situations. And that's what I was saying. Is like, I wish I could tell you guys and be like, you'll never believe. You will never believe what happened. But I can't. I just can't do it. I have a meeting with the lab, too, at 3.30. It is 2.38. Am I in my own background? Yeah, I am. What are you going to do about it? Uh, I just thought the picture was cool. <laughs> okay. Do I get a little bit embarrassed every time somebody sees that? Yeah, almost. But then I'm like, I don't care. Anyways, so that's my little life update right there. Carter from Prada. Hey, what's going on? Um, second of all, I do just wish that I could tell you guys all the things about my life. I'm using the Dior, the Dior powder. Now, I do need to get this in a lighter shade now that I'm not as tan as I once was. I ain't as tan as I once was. That's not a song. I just replaced the lyrics and it made sense. Um... But I cannot. It's just like, it's too much tea. It's too much tea, honestly. But, nevertheless, that's what's going on in my life. My life's been crazy, crazy. And I've been enjoying it, honestly. But anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Okay, so listen to this. So, I'm not like an astrology person. But at the same time, I do find it really interesting because, I'll tell you why. It's like a whole whole story. So, again, strap in, buckle up. I'm going to put my hair in a little bun while, while I finish getting ready. Um, there's your hair tutorial for the day. So, months ago, a girl named Rachel, who is, uh, who was a subscriber, reached out to me. And it was after I had talked in a video, like, I was just, like, joking around and stuff. And I was like, I just found out that I'm a Capricorn. And I'm fully shook to my core. Also, do I want to put that on right now? Yeah, why not? I'm going to put on, uh, the road lip treatment. Because I have it in here in my bag. And the only Farm Beauty gloss I have in this specific bag is... And nude. And I don't want to wear a nude. I just want a clear gloss right now. This is uh, Persona Cosmetics Almond. So anyways, I talked about how I didn't know I was a uh, Capricorn. And I always thought I was a Sagittarius because I'm on the cusp. Like, really on the cusp. I'm born on December 21st, but I was born late at night. And so, like, I was the cusp. But anyway, she, like, messaged me and she was like, hey, I'm an astrologer uh, or, like, a life coach. And I do, like, I teach people all about astrology. That sort of stuff. And I would love to do a session with you. And I was like, okay. So, this was months ago. And, uh, honestly, like, a series of events just kind of, like, happened in my life. And I just didn't talk about it. Like, I just didn't talk about any of it. Because I was like, I don't want to, like, I was like, should I put it in a vlog? Should I put it in whatever? Because, like, obviously I wanted to, like, discuss it and talk about her business. Because she did it for me for free. And, I, like, that's huge. She didn't have to do that. But then I was like, I want to wait till it feels like the right moment. And now it feels like the right moment. Because I've been kind of waiting on this. Okay? So... Let me take a minute to pause from doing my, break, my makeup so I can, like, discuss this. So, we talked about this, like, a maybe a couple weeks after um, me and my ex-fiance broke up. And, like, everything she was saying is was dead on. Like, let me read you the email of, like, to tell you what she does, okay? 
So her name is Rachel Francis. I will have all of her details linked down below for you guys. So you can like uh, make an appointment, make, like schedule with her to get her to do this for you because it's absurd. So also she's given to everybody that like does, that books through her with me that says like, oh, Katie sent me, Katie Fawn sent me. You get 50% off and it's usually like $272, but with the discount it's 136 And then you just need to like email her and say that they're coming from... Or that you all are coming from me, like an email recommendation kind of thing. And I'll have her website and her email in the description box. So she says, I'm a life coach who works with people to, cult to cultivate deep self-worth through the powerful combination of positive psychology and astrology. I guide people to transform their self-concept and step into their true power. Um, and then she tells you what a birth chart coaching session is. It says, your birth chart shows you what planetary energies are influencing you on a subconscious level. These energies affect your emotions and decisions. They explain reoccurring patterns, why certain areas feel challenging and others feel uh, easy and abundant. This is a deeply powerful session because you not only receive your chart analysis, but you also receive coaching on how to align with your natural power to remove unwanted energies blocking you. So whenever she like first messaged me and like, you know, asked me about this, I was like, I don't know. I was like, that doesn't really sound like me. And she was like, I know that you're a Christian. Like, I watched your videos before. I know that you've discussed this, etc. And I was like, yeah. So, I don't really know how that, like, will coincide. I, I don't know. Also, let me look at this picture again to make sure that I'm doing the right eye look. I think it's literally just, like, yeah, transition shade and then glitter on the eyes. Perfect. So, I was like, I don't know. You know, like I said, like, let me just, let me think about it. Because this is not something I'm, like, normally into. Whatever. But I, then I was like, you know what? Why not? Like, why not just do it? It was phenomenal. When I tell you that I didn't, like, tell her anything beforehand. This is the Pat McGrath palette that I'm using. This is the, what is this called? Divine Rose? Is this Divine Rose 2? Uh, Mothership 6? Is that 6? Divine Rose? I don't know. Divine Rose. Okay. Looks like this. Um, anyway, so I didn't tell her, like, anything before my, about my life. She needed my, uh, the time that I was born, and she needed, um, like, when I was, like, what my birthday is, obviously. And then she, like, went to work, and I was like, okay. So then, whenever she started, like, asking me questions and telling me about myself, everything was dead on. Dead on. Crap you cannot make up, Okay. And so I was like, this is crazy. And she also told me, she was like, I know that you're a Christian. So like, here's the perspective of like how I talk to Christians or like different um, religions or relationships with, um, I don't know, like whatever you want to call it. So anyways, she was basically just like, see it as energy. Like you have it, you know, whenever you walk into a room and you just like have a gut feeling, you're like, this isn't right. Or, like, you know in your gut whenever something's weird or, like, just something like that. Like, a gut feeling, whatever. She was like, there are just are different energies. There's different energies in us. There's different energies in different people. You can be like, oh, man, I just love to be around that person because they have such good energy. Or vice versa. You don't like to be around that person because they don't have good energy. So, she was like, just think of it like that. And she was like, the planets, um, like, there are energy. there's energy in the atmosphere. There's energy in the universe, etc. And that's just, like, based on the planet's based on the energy, like, that's how we're affected by it. And I was like, okay, you know, like, I'm trying to keep an open mind with all this kind of stuff because I think a lot of times Christians or a lot of times people from any religion, really, just see um, anything that's not talked about as something that's, like, a threat to their belief or whatever it is. They just, like, kind of automatically cancel it out of their mind. And I'm not somebody who's like that. I don't want to be like that. Now, I'm not saying, like, I believe in all kinds of, like, crazy stuff, but I'm just saying, like, I'm keeping, I was keeping an open mind. So she starts like telling me all of this stuff about like my life and the kind of person I am, the kind of belief system that I am, the kind of like how I grew up, um, like all this kind of stuff. And it was just like dead on. And I was like, okay, that's crazy. And so, um, anyways, I was like, you know, wow, this is, this is wild that she would know all this other kind of stuff. And it's not like she was doing some sort of psychic reading or something. It was just like my thought patterns and the way that I think and the way that I um, go about handling situations and things that I'm weak in and things I need to work on and like how things work in my favor. And like she breaks down, you know, absolutely everything. And if you have any questions, she goes over like all your questions that you have um, with you so that you better like understand. And she will be like, okay, during this time of the month or during this time of your life or during this period, this is usually how you tend to face things. And she'll be like, do you agree with that? And I was always like, yes. Like, there was nothing she said that I was like, oh, no, I don't agree with that at all. I was like, yeah, you're dead on. 
and she'd be like, okay, to better um, cope with this issue or to better yourself, this is something you could do instead. Or this is an area that you might be weak in. Here's what you can do to um, strengthen that specific area. You know what I mean? So it was never like a condescending or anything like that. It was just like, here is based on the energy at this time or whatever. Um, here's what it, you, how you would usually face a situation. Here's how it might be more beneficial to uh, do it another way. That sort of thing. So, um, that was really neat just in general. But as far as like everything she said, she was like, it, it was just so wild because it was dead on. Like it was just so dead on. And she was like, this is how you can, um, uh, be better in your relationships. This is how you can be better in your business. This is why you don't feel like fulfilled in this certain specific time or, um, in this season of your life, you're looking for this, blah, blah, blah. And like, this is how you, um, she was like, you don't like to be around people who, uh, make you feel embarrassed. And I had just gone through an experience where somebody like did make me feel like embarrassed, but, but kind of almost like I went on a date with this dude and he kind of made me feel like not good about myself. Like he was questioning, like, why you live at home? You know, like you're really young, blah, blah. blah. And I was like, you're really old. And why are you making me feel this way? Cause I make really good life decisions. Um, you know, like, he just made me, like, be defensive. And she was literally, like, talking about that and how to, um, like, remove myself from those situations. And it was literally just, like, a life coaching experience personalized to me. So, like, you can make an appointment with a life coach and they'll be like, okay, here's what you do in this situation. You know, blah, blah. And kind of, like, motivate you. But what she did was make it personal in every aspect and way. And so, I just really liked that. I was like, this is TBH of Ob. And, um, like, you really should do it. Like, I think it's absolutely beneficial for absolutely everyone, whether you're religious, whether you're, whether you're not religious, whether you, like, what, it didn't freaking matter what your belief systems are. Like, literally just do it. And it's 50% off. So, would I do it again? Absolutely. And she was like, keep me updated on how everything's going, you know, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah. So, that's that. But anyway, I'll have her information linked down below. And it's not sponsored. She's like, didn't sponsor it. She did, wasn't like, hey, you have to talk about this or anything like that. She just genuinely did a really good job. And I wanted to wait uh, until like, I felt like it was the right time to talk about it until I was like, in a good place uh, in my life. And to be honest with you guys, like, I am really good. I'm really good at putting on a front, putting on like a fake, um, yeah, like just front and being like, oh, hey, you know, like, I'm fine. That's really pretty. That is, whoa, stunning. That's these two shades. This shade right here and this shade right here. In this palette. I don't know why it's having trouble focusing. But anyways, I'm actually going to put it on with a brush so I don't get, like, so much. I'm going to use the Morphe A20 brush, which is, like, a little dumb brush. Um, I'm also going to take my hair down because TBH, I hate the way that my hair looks right now. But I'm really good at putting on a face and, like, fronting and being, like, oh, like, I'm fine, you know whatever. I gotta feel myself there for a second. But to be honest with you, right now I am fine. Like I'm totally, what was that? Was that a blue chested booby bird? Anyways, right now I'm fine. Like I'm doing really good. Like not just fine. I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. I'm happy. I'm joyful. Like I have, I feel more like myself this week than I've felt like in months. And I missed it. Oh, man. I could cry because I missed it so much. I just felt like I was going through the motion. I'm not going to cry. It's no crying September. But I just felt like I was going through the motion so much of, like, just literally living life. Like, I was like, okay. You know, like, I get up. I work. I do X, Y, and Z. But, like, I wasn't feeling fulfilled. I wasn't feeling joyous. I wasn't feeling any of that. And I just, it made me really sad because I was like, I don't know what the heck's wrong with me. Like, I just feel like I've been in a funk for a hot minute. And finally this week, I just feel like I'm out of my funk and I'm like back to me and I'm back to working hard and I'm back to, um, being happy. Like, I just feel happy and joyful and, um, all the things, which is a blessing. It's such a blessing. Oh man, it's such a blessing. So, that's that. That's literally all I did. You watched me. Like, I just put that on my eyes. Anyways. So, um, yeah. But I've, 
like, I mean, this has been rough. Like, it's been a really rough, difficult time in my life as far as really everything goes because sales were down and I couldn't do anything about it. And, like, I mean, that's just business, you know? But it's, like, when it rains, it pours sort of thing. And so, like, it, to me, it was, okay, well, I had so much going on in my personal life after me and my ex-fiance broke up. And then that went on forever. Like, it felt like it was a never-ending process of breaking up and it's just like we still talked forever and like honestly I'm just being open and raw with you guys I'm lining with the Joe liner um we still talked for a long time not a long time but a good while after we broke up uh and like it was just it was difficult it was difficult on me mentally it was difficult I got I don't know my contact it was difficult on me mentally it was difficult in like every way to be honest with you but I didn't know what to do and I didn't know how to go about it. And I just felt really drained all the time. And I felt like just sad and like, it was just a whole thing. It really was just such a whole thing. But anyways, um, we haven't talked in a, in a while at all. And once I like, the last time I talked to him, I was like, this is my, this is it. Like, this is my last ditch. Not, it wasn't even effort to like get back together at all. It was just like a, you are right kind of thing, you know? Um, but that's out the window. And I just, I don't know, like, I just feel really like myself. Like, I feel so, just, I really, it, it's weird because, like, in the moment of being, um, like, not yourself, I guess. Like, being sad and being, like, you just kind of get, that is not what I meant to do. That is not what I meant to do at all. That is freaking pink. Oh, my gosh. Crap. What do I do now? What I was saying though is like in the moment of being um, sad, I guess. The moment of like, you're just like stuck in the rut. You know what I mean? Like you're just stuck. I'm using some concealer to clean that up, to clean up under my brows. You're just stuck in the moment of being stuck. Like you don't even realize as much that you're stuck because it's just like what you're used to. Just like if you're used to being really happy, then it feels really weird to go into a season where you're not happy because you're like, well, this is not normal for me at all. Because normally I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling joyous, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so to, for me to feel like I'm back normal again, like it's me, it's Katie Fawn. I feel really good about myself. I feel good about my life. Like I just am happy and joyous and just like have hope for my business and hope for my future. And I'm excited about stuff. And it's not just like, I'm waking up and I don't feel productive. It's like I'm waking up and I'm excited about the day and I'm excited to get like to do my stuff for my business. I'm excited about, you know, my friends. I'm excited to like go hang out. I'm excited to like go places. I just, I feel really fulfilled and really, really, really happy and joyous and blessed and thankful and all the things. And it's just like, I was sitting in, in Georgia the other day and it was like literally, I don't know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and I was laying in bed and I was just like, I deserve this <laughs> like there's been so many times where I was just so sad and like heartbroken and didn't eat and was just stressed out and stressed out over my life and stressed out over like what was coming what was going and who was coming in and who was leaving and what I should do what I shouldn't do and trying to live up to all these expectations and these standards and these you know living my life on social media and having people put their input in my life and people um just like seeing people on the internet who are my age or who are older than me, like, have these things. And it's like, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I need to buy a house. I need to buy a new car, another new car. You know, I need to buy all these things. And it's like the the comparison really is the thief of joy. I mean, I know that's such a well-known thing and a well-known statement. But when you live your life on social media and you expose yourself to other people and to other opinions, it's a difficult thing. It's a very difficult thing. It, it affects every part, every part of your life, whether you realize it or not. Um, and it has taken a toll on me in a way that I never really thought that it would. Um, but I feel so good and I feel so fulfilled and whole. I feel, I just feel really good. Like, it's just, it's almost indescribable, honestly. Um, in the best way possible. I'm just adding like my little baby wing that I always do. But I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on because I always do this. And then I'll um, add more concealer. And I'll probably, or not concealer, more, uh, what is it called? Eyeliner. Dear Lord. I'll add more eyeliner. 
and then I will add some highlighter. But anyways, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Where's my other mascara? Here it is. I'm going to use my Ilia Fullest Volume Mascara, and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm just fluffing up my eyebrows a little bit. I'm using this um, CoverGirl Professional Natural Lash. It's literally clear, clear mascara. Um, but I just wanted like a little, a little bit more structure. You know? Um, did you guys know that the freaking Arctic Monkeys are still playing concerts? They just are playing concerts right now. They had the last one in Brooklyn this past weekend. And it was sold out. But they're coming back. To the United States, and when they do, I'm going straight to their concert. I'm going to say, be honest. Do you love me? Do you love me not? Because I love you, baby. Da, 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 well, hey, my so. Let me look and see what her um uh lip combo looks like. She's got a pretty dark liner on. Like a dark brownish liner. And she's got like um extreme, like extreme like a uh, black wing, but I didn't do that because TBH, I didn't really want to. So that's that. Let me, let me see if I can make a faux freckle on myself. And then I know exactly what lip, lip liner I'm going to use. I just need a little bit of a darker um, liner. So let me grab that. Let me grab it. Okie dokie about flip chi. I didn't know. I picked up this one from Milani. This is the shade All Natural. I used to wear this every day, literally every day. Uh, was this the one? I had one shade from Milani. It was like a nub. Oh, she pointy. Look at that. Makeup. Mm. What am I doing? Oh, lip liner. I'm going to use this. I think this should be the right shade. If it's not, I'll mix it. This is the exact same shade as my lips. I just got an email about my meeting. I've also started lining my lips a new way. So I feel like if I, let me know if you want me to make a video on that. Cause I feel like it made a difference. So that's that, that's a little bit darker. And then I feel like she used, like the middle of her lips is a little bit lighter, I think. Um, so I'm going to use Supermodel. This is like my go-to lipstick combo. I'm going to use the shade Supermodel from Charlotte Tilbury. This is what it looks like. Um, it's like a darker muted. It's like my lips, my lip color. And I just blot that on around the perimeter. It's giving Victoria's Secret angel, to be honest with you. And then I'm going to take the shade Nude Kate, which is a very pretty nude shade. Again, from Charlotte Tilbury and pop it in the middle. Mm, that's pretty. Okay. That looks good. Uh, I'm going to go back in with my eyeliner, I think. I feel like I just need to like glam it up just a little bit more. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner and just continue that wing and like I do think it would look really good with a crispy wing like clearly it would because that's what she did but I'm just not feeling a crispy wing and if you want me to be fully honest with you um I don't have any liquid eyeliner because I went to go use it the other day and it was dried out and crusty and I was like okay then I need to pick one of those up but I haven't yet to be honest there's something buzzing downstairs and I don't know what it is because there's nobody here. So am I concerned? No, I'm not. And that kind of concerns me more than me not being concerned. It's like, why am I not concerned? You know? Also, her brows are really clean. My brows are not as clean because I need to pluck them. So that's that. Do I want to add a mole? I do. I do want to add a mole. Where should I add one? This is crazy of me. TBH, I need to sharpen this if we're all being honest with each other, but... 
Whatever. Do I have a mall anywhere? I have a teeny tiny mall right here. Okay, that looks like I just have chocolate on my mouth. Probably made me hate myself. Do, 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 do. Let me see if I can try it with the other brown one. This is such a long video. Um, does anybody care? I don't think so. You can click off at any time. But you shouldn't, because it's a party. Ah, oh. Okay, honestly, if I sing that song one more time, somebody comes to the screen and punch me in the throat. Okay, I'm just gonna... The more I do, the dirtier it looks. The more it looks like I just have a mustache. We're just not. We're just not gonna do it. We're just not gonna do it. I'm gonna take this um, Tarte a lot. Shape Tip Glow Wand. I haven't used this in 100 years. I'm going to use it right now. And place it on the high points of my face. Because it makes you look glowy, glossy, and stunning. And pat that in. Look at that. Ka-chow. It looks so pretty. And that's that. Let me do a final look through. Sometimes once I get done with my look, because I just use a really light concealer, which like obviously I'll leave the links to my the products I use down below. Um, I like to go back in with my concealer and do like a little cleanup kind of thing. Like, oh, I want to add brightness back like here and then like under my eye or uh, on the side of my eye. Just to like lift my face, you know. What's that? Oh my gosh, a literal bank got robbed in my town today. And I live in a teeny tiny town, so like that's extremely scandalous. I don't think anything like that's happened since like the 1920s. Like, Wow. Really getting crazy out here. Probably gonna be on the news. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's not good for the bank. Okay, dokie. What a hell. I'll be danged if we didn't look stunning. Am I Ash K. Home? Maybe. There we go. There we go. I think this video is almost 40 minutes long. Okay, guys, that's a final look. Um, I really like it. I think that it's fun. I think it's a cute look. I think it's still wearable. It's very wearable, actually. Am I going to wear this in my sweatshirt and cargo pants? Yes, I am. I just thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be like a fun little life update, fun little video to do. So anything that I talked about, anything that is linkable, all of Rachel's um, credentials, like information, information, yeah, will be down below for you guys. If you want to make an appointment with her, please do. I also love that she's a subscriber. That means the world. Thank you, Rachel. My footage is really bad. Also, I should have told you the story about me losing not one, but two toenails. <laughs> um, I'm in extreme pain. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. It was fun. I just enjoyed it, uh, like, doing it. It was great. It was great. So, thank you for watching. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you actually watched the entire video because you're an OG. Uh, but I hope you guys have a fabulous day and thanks for watching.